Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Go Dynamic IT. In this video, we are going to configure our D-Link DIR615 router into WIPS uh, repeater mode. So this is going to be the wireless configuration and this, this router will be acting as a wireless extender. So let's get into the video and, uh, and uh, work through this. So for that, we have to bring the browser and uh, this is my browser and let's open this 192 so on my default IP address of this uh, wireless router is 192.168.0.1 and it's directly connected to my system via Ethernet cable so let's open this one so when you first, when you log into this um, uh, log into this uh, IP address it's asking about this uh, starting a widget so your case you may have you you may be configured some other mode and you want to switch back to this WIPS repeater mode. So what you have to do is either so there is two way you can do this. First thing is you have to reset hard reset the router, and the second thing is you have to go to the menu. So that that I have created already created a video. You can go ahead and watch it my on my channel. The other way around is um, you can go to the setting and setup wizard. Just click on the setup wizard. Now uh, here just click on the start. And it says that you want to continue with English. Yes, I want to continue with English. And then it says that you want to go with the advanced mode or you want to go with the normal con continue with the wizard. So I just wanted to continue with the wizard. So he can, here you can see here, this is the device mode it is showing. So we have already covered this wired mode in our uh, previous videos. Now it's time for Wi-Fi. So in the case, when I open this Wi-Fi, you can see here the first working mode is uh, WPI's repeater and uh, the second one is repeater and third one is client. So as of now, in this video, we are continuing with WISP repeater mode. So what is this? This is the internet service provider. Some countries or uh, like internet service are internet service provider are providing the Wi-Fi services. So they have the tower, they have antennas and they are providing the SSID. All you have to do is you, sh you must have that router and the router will be uh, receiving this uh, SSID and then it will extending to the your LAN. So for example, our DI in this case, DI, our D-Link DIR615 router will receive the signal and then it will extend it to our uh, wireless client and then to the LAN client. So let's click on, the, I hope this, this concept is clear, for, clear to you, right? Uh, this wireless internet service provider. This is similar to your uh, uh, wired router kind of connector, right? In the wired router, you give a service provider will give you uh, the wired connect connection from uh, from from service provider to your router. But here, service provider will give you the wireless connection. Simple. So now let's see. So click on the next, and here it's asking about the SSID. If you, the service provider has given you the SSID, you can add here. And then you have to add the, um, it depends, it depends, all depends on the authentic, what kind of service provider authentication you have given. Or what you can do is you can click on the wireless network. Of course, if they are providing the services, you should be receiving them. So you can see you will get the list of this service provider name here. So assume that is LMN, LMN2G is your service provider. Just click here. You can see here. Uh, now it's coming the BSS ID. Everything has come, right? So and they have, they must have shared the password password with you and then encryption type. So get this information from the service provider. And so assume that we have this information. So and service provider has even uh, shared us the password. So after giving the password, I said what type of connection they are providing, right? So are they providing the dynamic IP address, static? So some service provider provide you the dynamic IP. Some will provide you the static IP. Some will provide you the P over wireless or PPOE. These are the connections they provide. It is all completely depends on the service provider. So assume in, in my case, um, I just select the dynamic one. And if they are providing the VLAN, some wireless providing will providing the VLAN ID also. So assume they said they have given in the list and they said that, okay, this is your SSID name. You have to enter into your wireless router and then this is the password and this is the connection type and the vlan id assume this is the vlan thousand so just add the vlan thousand here and then click on the next i do not have so i just this is just for demonstration purpose so i just click on the i uncheck this vlan and click on the next oh sorry it is ip version for dynamic ip i version 4 now click on the next 
and here um, it is asking about the name so now you can see this lmn 2g extend this is the extension so i can um, my home i can give the my home wi-fi you can give your name here right and then you can you can assign your own password here so let me assign my own password here why should i use my why should i use the service provider uh, name and password here and now click on the next and again this is this is asking about the web interface of the past the i mean when you try to log into this wireless router it will ask you for username and password so here i'll just provide some strong password you can see here click on the next and here is the summary of the configuration so whatever configuration you have uh, assigned to this device it is showing here you can save the configuration for your future uh, use so sometime the router reboots or uh, resetted for some reason or you resetted for some reason you can just config i mean save the config restore the configuration back to the router it will save you lots of time so just click here save and you can see here this configuration save file has been saved now it's time to apply the configuration so i'm applying the configuration here so whatever configuration i have uh, provided to this this router this is going to apply on this box so now it's applying the configuration it's it's take few second i would say so just wait okay i think it's done now it's applying the configuration now uh, and it's trying to check the internet connect connection so i do not have internet connection it's just like uh, i use it just for demonstration purpose so let's see what is come back it, it may throw some error but don't worry in your case if you are using this as a um, um, WISP uh, client then this is going to work for you but this is the procedure okay so it says that fail to uh, connect to the Wi-Fi there's no problem in my case uh, it's just a demonstration purpose so I just click on the advance and it's back to this the menu of this device you can see here this they say that it does not have a internet connection that's absolutely fine you, you if you are using the service wireless internet service provider uh, uh, service then you go with the same procedure it's going to work so that's it for today's video if you have questions query or feedback related to to this video and how i can improve it please do let me know in the comment box and i'll see you on the next one thank you very much for watching my video